everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a, I guess, kind of sort of a chatty get ready with me. What I'm doing today, I'm going to move something out of my way here. What I'm doing today is I am doing an update on uh, everything going on in Asheville. Plus, and I'm sorry if you hear my phone go off. When I filmed my last Chetty Get Ready With Me telling you what was going on in Asheville, I actually missed a phone call from my mother-in-law. And uh, the internet is spotty at best. And so I don't want to miss anything. So I don't have it on silence and it's going to ding. Let me see, is that something I need to get off? Yeah, or it'll keep dinging. That wasn't anything important. But uh, yeah, so my phone is on. So I apologize if you hear that. But yeah, today I thought I'd give you an update uh, and uh, put on some Halloween makeup. I think for the month of October, every Get Ready With Me every week, I'm going to do a different Halloween themed palette. I'm not doing uh, costume makeup this year. I'm just going to use a Halloween themed palette and do a regular makeup look. So. That's what we're doing today. And I curled my hair. It looked so pretty the minute I curled it. And then I noticed my hair starts wilting pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. I put setting stuff. I did everything. Uh, and if you'll notice, the wilting is in the gray. I, I wonder if there's something about my gray hair. It's really soft. My gray is really, really soft. It's coming out. But, man, is it not holding a curl at all. It, it won't hold a curl. But look down here. Look at Curls galore. Anyway. So, let's get started. I've already done my skin care, skin care and put my primer on. So, I'm going to start. I'm just going to use this CoverGirl foundation. And we're just going to go. Um, I can't remember what I said in the last video. But, my in-laws are safe. Uh, my, they both evacuated out of Asheville and so they are somewhere safer. We tried to get them to come down here and they are just going to, I guess, ride it out up there. They're not in Asheville. They have moved farther south, but where they are still, there's, uh, they're at my brother-in-law's. There's no power. They do have water though. That's something Asheville doesn't have. They're, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law are in Polk County, North Carolina. Right at the South Carolina border. So, they have water and they have a generator. Uh, and, uh, but spotty, spotty cell service. Oh, well, that was two days ago. I haven't talked to anybody in two days. My mother-in-law was supposed to call me back and, and talk to me because I... I did talk to her uh, after I filmed the video. I was able to get through, uh, but I have not spoke to her since. So, uh, Brian spoke with his dad, and so every, everything's good. I have not spoken anymore to my sister, uh, but I feel she's okay. All right, there we go. There's that. Now, um... So slowly I am hearing from friends and family as they are getting their internet, not internet, their cell service back, but they're not really getting their cell service back. Starlink came in and set up these spots all over town where you can get uh, Wi-Fi or I guess, I don't, I don't know if it's, you can make calls with it or if it's just for like internet, use your phone to, for internet. I'm not sure how that works, but people are able to now uh, use their phones and get on like Facebook. That's where I'm hearing most of everything is on Facebook. And uh, slowly I see my friends pop on. I'm okay, I'm okay. Uh, there is um, a few friends I'm a little worried about that I haven't heard from yet that usually are always on Facebook, but um, 
they live in Swannanoa that got hurt, hit pretty bad. And they live on the side of a mountain, which has me worried because I'm a beautiful, beautiful place. But they live up on the, on the side of the mountain. And I know their driveway has a creek that runs under it. Uh, they have like a culvert or something, but the creek goes under the road and it has flooded before uh, with some heavy rain. But I, I just worry that there was a, a mudslide or something with their house. I don't know. I don't really know. I haven't heard. I'm just sitting and waiting. That's the one that has me a bit worried. Everybody else is pretty much hearing from and are, are doing okay you know um brian's cousin got married yesterday in all of this craziness he is a retired uh battalion chief with the Asheville fire department uh and he and his fiance were supposed to be were supposed to have gotten married yesterday in glacier national park and of course the hurricane hit so they actually exchanged vows yesterday at one of the um, one of the sites where people are gathering and doing the you know going out and rescuing people and doing because he's a retired firefighter and she does something in that line. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but, she, but it's sort of in the same line. That's how they met. So they're both uh, out volunteering and working. Uh, with the fire department because um, I, I mean even though Eric's Eric's retired he's I think 53 that's that's not old you know so they're out and doing that but they exchanged rings yesterday and then they're going to reschedule their trip to Alaska I think it's Alaska is that where Glacier National Park is I'm saying Alaska I guess that's where it is I don't want to assume it could be in somewhere else Canada or I don't know but anyway so that was a little bright spot and as far as I know people are checking in I have friends who have trees through their house who have lost everything but they are safe um, as far as I can tell my mother-in-law didn't say anything we were just trying to get the basics spoken to each other because the cell kept cutting out I, I she didn't say anything about any damage to her house and i'm assuming she would have come forward with that at the beginning if there was damage to the house so i don't think they have damage to their home but um a friend of ours her brother lives in oak forest and he ended up with three trees on top of his house. His house is gone, it's destroyed. So my mother-in-law's very lucky. My in-laws are very lucky. So she said that it looked like a war zone. Telephone poles down and trees down all over Oak Forest. Luckily, she was able to get around and get out. She lives on the edge, so she's not deep into the community or the neighborhood. She was on the edge so she could get out kind of easy. Kind of easy, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But she made it down the mountain. They opened I-26 and she went down the mountain. So, yeah. So we, we are thankful for that. So, that's all I have as an update on uh, what's going on um, up in Asheville. I mean... I just all my Facebook feeds because all of my friends well you know the majority of my friends and family are in Asheville or excuse me in the upstate of South Carolina so that's all my Facebook is is just that I'm just seeing all of that so I'm limiting my time on Facebook because it can get overwhelming to me and I just don't I know every my family is safe so I know then I don't need to be stressing over stuff I can't do anything about. And um, they're asking people, looking for something. They're asking people not to come up there with supplies to go through the proper channels. But here in Camden, on my little Facebook group page, 
there's people all over gathering on their own supplies. I'm driving them up there Saturday. And I'm like, you're just going to get in the way. Do you know where you're going? I think, my, my opinion, these people just want to look. They just want to see. So they figure if they take supplies up, and I'm sure they mean well. I'm sure, I'm sure they mean well. But I think they think if they take supplies up, then um, they have a right to look around. And I'd rather they leave the roads clear so people can do their jobs. That's my opinion. My opinion. Boy, I didn't realize how long my hair has gotten. It's back long again. I guess I should just let it keep going. Might as well. All right. I am today going to use my, the first Moon Spell palette from Lunar Beauty. I actually sent a DM to Manny saying, now listen, do I need to start saving my coins to buy Moon Spell 3? <laughs> And I never heard back. And I remember when both of these came out, they came out really close to Halloween. Not like before Halloween, so you'll have it, you know. They came out pretty close to Halloween, so I don't know if he's planning it or not. I mean, I've got, I'll, I'll be buying it if he does. But, you know, I kind of like, kind of like a little heads up. There is, if you haven't seen this palette, here are the colors, and it's named after famous witches. Uh, as I open this, I realize I don't have anything really to set my eyes with. So I'm going to go into my setting powder and to set my primer with that. Grab my, I don't know if you can hear my uh, washing machine. I'm washing blankets today. And when I do that, it tends to make a little more noise when it's spinning. So, there we go. Sorry if you can hear that. My washing machine's spinning. Yeah, I'm preparing in case I get family. Uh, they're all invited to come, but nobody seemed really gung ho on taking me up on the offer. I've got everything here. Uh, we do have, we did have some flooding, but nothing that we couldn't get around town. And the water is now really receding. There's no, uh, there are no. Uh, hold on, just a second. Sorry, had to check in there. There are no um, no chance of you know bridges washing out anymore. That's all. We're we're good. It's going it's going down. It it got really close, but we we are good. So I am going to start with um, I'm gonna start with Winifred. I want to do a uh, show you that. You know, if you see a Halloween palette, that doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean, you know, well, I, I don't want to do costume looking looks, you know, I want to do real eyeshadow looks, you know, every day. And that's what I want to do. I want to take these palettes and make them every day. So, we will go with this one. Of course, you guys know my every day includes some color and some glitters. <laughs> There we go. There we go. There we are. Okay, I like that. Now, let me see. I'm gonna. What can I do? I think I'm gonna go in with this green, Marnie. That'd be going a little wild. I just told you I was going to do a neutral looking look, and I'm not. I didn't change my mind. I'm going in with uh, this army green. I'm going to work that in my crease. That's a pretty good um, basic color. Even though it is a color, it's considered basic, right? looks really pretty that looks really pretty so I think I should do my hair more often don't you think quit being lazy and throwing it up on top of my head I it's just so easy to do especially since I don't really go anywhere 
that much you know I mean I don't work outside the home so I don't really need to you know dress up every day and I don't go to an office so I really should I really should just do my hair just to be doing my hair you know so it looks nice I should I'm gonna go I'm doing Halloween colors do I want to go in with purple That might be a bit much, huh? That might be a bit much. I'm wearing blue, but there's no blue in this palette. Um, I think I'm going to go in with Fiona. And Fiona is a shimmer. I've been cleaning out this brush in my color switch thing here. I'm going to use that and apply it to my outer V. Yeah, that's pretty. That looks nice. Who, who had the fair faucet hairdo back in the day? My hair is giving me a little bit of my, the winged, I had the winged bangs. God, I did. I loved them. I had the winged bangs. And in that portrait of me, I've got the full on, it's long hair. And it's permed. <laughs> the permed hair. <laughs> that is the uh, early 90s there. <laughs> so I got the perm going on there that is a portrait from my first marriage which uh, went all out all the the bells and whistles that had the big church wedding and the you know all the above in fact that portrait was done was taken at the Biltmore State and I, I wasn't even working there then that was before I worked there uh, I was working uh, as a makeup artist for Estee Lauder when I got married. But anyway, uh, where was I going with all that? I had all the bells and whistles with the first time. Oh, but Brian really loves that picture of me. And we, my mother did spend a lot of money on that portrait. So he's always said, hang it up in the bedroom. He wants it in the bedroom. So I put it there. I moved my... Um, I moved my Andy Warhols because I really felt uh, Jackie and uh, Elizabeth's eyes were messing up my focus. I really think they were messing with my focusing. So uh, that's why they are gone. They are going to be removed. Whoop, now, now my focus is messing up there. They are being uh, moved to somewhere uh, in the house where more people can enjoy them if they're at my house than hanging here in the bedroom. So yeah, that's where my Warhols went. They went into somewhere else in the house. And my Renoir I had hanging. That was, I didn't realize that was a glass. It was behind glass. It fell and shattered. So I still have the print but the frame is gone and I'm not going to reframe that thing. Um, so it's going in storage, I guess. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it was a glass. That's a huge. That was my mother's uh, Renoir. But yeah, no, it's gone. Well, it's not gone, but you know, I don't really have anywhere to put it. It looked great in her bedroom. It didn't really go that great in here, I don't think. So anyway, and that is uh, a print I bought recently that my um, college roommate has for sale. Um, I will link her down below. If you guys want to go over, I think she sells through Fine Art. I think I'll link her. I'll find the link. I'll put it in the description. If you'd like to see my college roommate, Maria. That's, uh, she's the Cuban family I lived with in Miami. There we go. I'm going to take that same Fiona and I'm going to go under my lower lash line with it. I am having more fun using shimmer where I normally wouldn't have, like uh, under my lash line or in the outer V. I was kind of in a rut putting, um, I just kept putting mattes there. And uh, I, I think shimmers look good there. Okay, now. Um, I think there's, 
There is some shimmer in here. Ooh, what am I going to go with? Uh, don't want an all shimmer lid. I know Fiona is a shimmer, but it's not giving a whole like really shiny shimmer vibe to it. And some of these are more shimmery. I think I'm going to, I'm going to use this little detail brush. I've been quietly rubbing through my, um, my color switch there. I think I'm actually going to go, I think I'm going to go with Hermione right here. Hermione is a shimmer. I'm going to put her here in the inner corner and see if this is going to be a dark enough shade. I think that's, that's nice. That's a pretty, that's a pretty shade. Probably could have used a bigger brush, but that's okay. That's pretty. Yeah. I think this is turning out to be a real pretty look. I do like that. I think that's really pretty. Now, I have a couple shimmers in mind here. I want to see. Well, actually, just one. This one is called Prue. Let's just go ahead. Yeah, I think Prue will work. Ah, that is pretty. Yep. Prue is pretty. Now, there is a color here called Sarah. It's right here. You see, it's kind of a dusty, light mauve. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. If I could just, I just grabbed one. Come on. I turn my head and it messes up my covering. I'm gonna go into Sarah and just kind of brush it up here to my, uh, up to my brows. It seems dark. I'm gonna have to work in editing to make it not so dark. Why are you so dark? Why is it so dark? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe it's me. I feel this. Look how my, look how this has fallen just while we've been putting makeup on. Do you see what I mean? But look down here. I have curls. But this is, I guess from touching it, I could something up there that looks like my hair did in high school this is this is my hair in high school not blonde though it was brown okay I think I'm done with that let me put some mascara on real quick okay got my mascara on and I lined my eyes with this little pencil this is uh, by Tarte and it's called fake awake and it's just a nude I like it. I like how that worked. Oh, sorry, guys. This was nothing. Let me get rid of it. Talbot has a sale if you're interested. There we go. Uh, so then now I am going to grab. Do I want that? What do I want? I haven't, I haven't planned. I'm going to grab this cheek parade. Uh, I know this is old, but it working fine. This is the only cheek parade I have. I didn't buy any of the others because I didn't feel the need to have a whole lot of them. So I'm going to use my my uh, brush from it's a little dirty but I'm kind of wiping it out. This is from uh, Lunar Beauty. I think that'll be fine. I'm going to use uh, let's use Hula. Hula Light is uh too light for my skin. You can tell I got I got color. I don't want it too crazy. I look like a witch right now. Look at his hair. There we go. I'm gonna take California, which is one of my favorite shades, I have to say, for a blush. I love peachy pink. I'm gonna go across the top of my nose with it a little bit. There we go. There is not a highlighter in this palette. Uh, I think highlighters are right below you. They are. 
Let me grab one. You know what? I'm going to grab I'm going to grab a uh, Super Shock, the Butterfly Beach. I've used quite a bit of it. These last forever. I find it odd that a Super Shock eyeshadow will not last, but the highlighters last forever. You know, I, I just find that a little strange. That's just my opinion. I'm going to do a little of the Cupid's bow here. But there we go. Not a whole lot. You know, I'm going to take this same highlighter and I'm going to go just a little up at my brow bone. I don't want it too crazy. Just a little. Now, I did pick out a lip because since I did move my lips across the room. Well, they're not across the room over here. Um, I picked out a dark lip to use. Um, just because I wanted to. So, for my lip liner, I hope these match. I don't, I think they kind of will match. My lip liner is by, who is this? Beauty Vault. I must have got it in a bag. Uh, Pick Perla, is that the name? Maybe, the color? So, I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna overline a bit. I want a little bit of a fuller lip going on, so. Never overline on the ends, and I close my Cupid's bow. That gives me illusion of a bigger lip. I think that's going to look pretty good. Now. These smell so good. Okay, so the lip I'm using is Huda. It's the liquid matte. Gotta grab the magnifying glass. Famous. Famous is the color. Yep. Liquid matte in famous. So, huh, I like how that turned out. What do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty cool. There are my eyes and the lips. I like how it looks. So guys, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I probably, if, if I do any more updates, it's just going to be mentioned in my regular just chatty get ready with me. Um, unless something just unbelievable happens, I think um, I'll just keep y'all up in the loop of what's going on with family and friends in Asheville. Uh, it's a long road. Um, I-40 into Tennessee they're estimating September of 2025 before that will reopen again. If you're coming from the west, say you're in Knoxville, and you're headed west on I-40, you go up into, I think, uh, you go up through, it's Tennessee up through um, near Bristol into Virginia, and then around and then back down into Charlotte uh, is how you will have to go to get around the mountains. You can't go through Asheville anymore. So, yeah, in 20, September 2025, and that's an estimate. They don't know. I'm sure they have no clue right now how long it'll be. But anyway, guys, I um, appreciate all the thoughts and prayers, and if you'll continue having thoughts and prayers for the people in Asheville and in Western North Carolina and upstate South Carolina, uh, in my area, still west of Columbia is a little dicey. Uh, still, there's still, the county of Newberry, half their county is still without power because of the trees down and all that. It was a little worse on the west side of Columbia than here 
on my side of Columbia. But anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>